560 square foot apartment in San Francisco. I am just so happy like having my own space and like getting to decorate it exactly how I want. And I really just got to discover my style in the process. This is my first time living by myself and before this space I was living in a group house with six people. So it was definitely like a really big transition. I describe my style as earthy and feminine. I used a lot of earth tones, but there are also a lot of like pinks. I love how the sun kind of just like falls through the apartment like throughout the day and I can like follow where the sun goes. My name actually means light in Sanskrit, so I think that's just been like something that's always been a part of who I am. I'm really inspired by sunsets, like that is my favorite color palette. And I wanted my room to kind of resemble a sunrise. And I actually have this like beautiful like red semicircle headboard that I think like kind of mirrors the sun. And it shows up in like other ways where my rug has like these like sun like motifs on them and the rug in my bathroom has a sun on it. I think my biggest splurge was probably my couch. I love it so much. It's just such a focal point of my space and I think it really served as like that first big like inspiration piece for the whole aesthetic. I have these like beautiful bay windows that just like open up into a view of the San Francisco skyline and I love how the couch just fits like perfectly between like the little trapezoid that the bay windows create. My day job is I'm a software engineer but I'm an artist at heart so it was really important for me to like find a space that could also double as my art studio. I think a lot of people are surprised when they find out that I made a lot of my own art pieces. I really like to thrift old canvases and then like paint white over them and then like make new art. Through the pandemic, like I was just like making a lot of art and kind of just hit this like creative block. And my apartment was really like the first space where I got to kind of get back in touch with my creativity again. I would describe myself as someone who's really thoughtful and intentional and I think my home is no exception. There's a lot of little details that I think no one else would notice, but just like make such a big difference to me, like the way I keep my spices ordered by color, or how a lot of the paintings I made use the same paint colors I used on my walls. So there's just like all this like cohesion that like shows up in little ways. My proudest DIY is probably painting my ceiling pink. I thought about painting my ceiling pink for probably three months, and then one day I kind of just like went for it, and all I had on hand was this two inch brush. I had some very sore shoulders for a couple of days, but I love the final effect so much. I am trying to be really minimal about what I own, but there is only one closet. I have like a little Peloton tucked in, so sometimes it's also my workout space. I do yoga here. Everything in here is something I either like love that inspires me and is really beautiful, or it's something that like I use every day. So I think it just like forces me to be really intentional about what I bring into the space. I think home is internally felt, but externally expressed. And what I mean by that is home is just an expression of that relationship you have with yourself. It's that feeling of like safety and comfort that I have with myself. I love spending time here. It's just like such a lovely place to be in. I think it's such a beautiful journey of like self-discovery to decorate a space and make it exactly how you want it. I just want people to feel inspired and encouraged to go for it. And a lot of these decisions are also like reversible. If you like have a painting and you don't like it or you paint your wall a certain color and you don't like it, you can always change it. So don't be afraid to experiment and try. Don't be afraid to express yourself.